Park today, Chiswick Park here in London and I've just finished my day. It's been quite a long day. I started the day at an advertising event actually and um, that took up about half of the day and then I had a, another meeting to go to after that and I thought I'd bring the camera along and unwind with you in this beautiful park take in some nature and just relax and have a chat now what did I want to talk about today well since I went to an advertising event today I thought it would be really cool to do an astrological breakdown of the ad industry and yeah see what kind of planetary energies have worked together in order to create the ad industry you know and if you want to be part of the ad business well what do you need to see in your chart okay so I'll take you through a run through what I believe are the key energies that you want to have now the other thing I want to say is that you don't have to have any of these in order to go into advertising if that's a profession that you really want to do then do it you know you don't particularly need to see anything in your chart. I really believe in free will and I really believe that if there's something that you really, really want to do, then do it, you know? You've got everything within you to do anything you want. You've just got to believe in yourself. So don't take this as some kind of gospel or, you know, oh, I haven't got Leo in my chart or much Leo energy, so that means I can't work in advertising. No, 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 don't think like that at all. You've really got to, you know be creative with what you have in your chart right so um, I think this industry is made up of all kinds of different people and you know me personally I've only really got one foot in this industry uh, I'm really wanting to build my astrology practice so that it takes over the whole ad game and ad scene uh, so for me you know I'm hoping get the astrology thing going but um, I have very much enjoyed my time working in advertising and might continue I have no idea I live one day at a time so you know but today's event what was it it was basically the super women pitch super women event and it was held at Leo Burnett in London and I actually worked at Leo Burnett in Sydney Australia that was my first job in advertising and I was a copywriter and I used to write ads for all kinds of big brands and um, yeah, Leo Burnett is a terrific agency, so it was really quite nice to go back there. But as a kind of senior person and, um, you know, someone who's there to support young people who are coming up and all that kind of thing. So that was really, really cool. But what would my astrological breakdown be? Okay, here we go. Because I've given it some thought and this is what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking the fifth house of creativity of course I think if you want to be in the creative department of an ad agency you know wearing sneakers and funky t-shirts and coming up with ideas for big businesses yeah you want to have some fifth house activity or you want to have some Leo in your chart somewhere uh, Leo let's take a look at that Leo the lion right you look at the big industry event for advertising what is it it's the can lions you know if you make a really great campaign they will reward you with a little lion statue so I mean astrologically that is definitely the fifth house of creativity it's Leo you know uh, Leo the lion for sure we've got the third house as well I would say third house is more media journalism sales that kind of thing but I think it could be advertising as well it's communication it's writing uh, it's all that kind of thing so I think third house Gemini you'd want to have some of that second house um, beautiful speech uh, speaking all that sort of thing actors are there too and very often you know if you're shooting a commercial or something like that you'll be directing actors so if you want to be on the creative side I'd say you want to have some fifth house you want to have some third house you want to have some second house or Leo Gemini Taurus so you want to have those kind of energies now let's say you want to be more on the account management side of things well there you'd want to have I would say ninth house 
which is Sagittarius, the men in suits house, you know, they make methodologies for everything. So you're looking at management consulting, you're looking at strategy, you're looking at advertising too. Definitely advertising falls into all of that. Um, I know that a lot of management consultancies are opening, uh, you know, sort of digital campaign type arms and definitely um, they're trying to get in on, on some of that action. What else do we have here? I can hear a dog behind me. Uh, we've got a lot of planes flying overhead as well. I hope you can hear me properly. But we've also got a 10th house. So if you're an account manager, you'd want to have sort of 10th house managerial type. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that was fun. Um, yeah, so you'd want to have some, say, 10th house type energy uh, there, you know, career spotlight, all that kind of thing, management, um, definitely. And 11th house, Aquarius, so networking and groups and all that kind of thing. Let's not forget Libra as well, 7th house energy, so you'd want to have some of that. That would be fantastic. Um, yeah, coming up with ideas for businesses. I mean, say for example, you've got Leo governing your seventh house. That's beautiful. That's, um, you know, communicating with the masses, seventh house. Leo is the creative aspect there. So that's, that's terrific. So as you can see, there's lots of different planetary energies um, that suit this industry. And if you haven't got any of those, but I'm sure you would, you know, you'd have something in any one of those. Uh, other placements would be fantastic too. You would just bring a newness, a, di a dynamic difference to the industry. And, and this is really an industry that celebrates and accepts lots of types of people. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. That was actually the topic of today's event. It was looking at how do we boost the profile of women within this industry. So. You know, like every industry, there is uh, an evolutionary path that it needs to take. But yeah, it's a good it's a good profession to join if, if you're thinking about that. So if you would like to know if you've got any of these energies, then get in touch with me, and I can take a look at your chart, and we can have a look together and see, you know, what are your gifts, strengths, and talents, and where would you be best suited. To work in the world so if you'd like to work with me please get in touch um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and share and do all that lovely stuff and oh my god i can see another dog over there <laughs> how cute but it's been a lot of fun chatting and i'll see you next time